Acknowledge version 4.3 has new additional preset options. The new preset options include presets for rates that can be used in channel setup and in rate cycle detection, expression presets, and measurement presets. To create a new rate preset as a calculation channel, we can go up to the MP150 menu, select Setup Channels, go to the Calculation tab, turn on a calculation channel, then choose Rate from the preset, then click the Setup button, and we'll be presented with a dialog box that contains our signal parameters. We can then enter in any custom settings such as a positive or negative peak detect, our baseline window width, the noise rejection percentage, and our windowing units in hertz, beats per minute, or seconds. We can enter in a custom beats per minute, so we could change this to 10 and 300. We could then also change the output options to use averaging mode, for example, and have an average every 10 seconds. Can then go back, make this a new signal type. I'll call it test. We can then save this whole thing as a channel preset by clicking new channel preset. And I will call this rate test and click OK. And we can then click OK. And now our calculation channel is set up to our custom preset settings. We can see our rate preset under the find rate option. We can click the drop down menu, select test, and we'll see the custom information we had just put in, the between 10 and 300. However, on the find rate section, it does not hold the output settings. So if we wanted to use the averaging mode again, we'd have to reset that here, enter in the 10, and then we can click on OK. Now you'll see our rate here with the custom settings has been put in as a new channel. If we wanted to remove the preset, we can do it two ways. We can go to the MP150 menu, go to Organize Channel Presets, and we can remove the online rate preset test here by deleting it. You can also go back to set up channels, go into the rate setup option, and just delete the test signal type by clicking on delete and OK. And now you'll see that has been removed from our preset options here and here. The next new preset type is Expression. To create a new Expression preset, we go to the Transform menu, select Expression, and then we begin entering in the expression we'd like to create. So, for example, I could say Channel 1 plus Channel 40 and send that into a new destination channel can then select either transform the entire wave or just a selection and then we can make this into a new preset and I will call this EEG edition and click OK and click OK and now you'll see here we have our result of the first channel plus this channel pasted in as a new channel if we were to want to do that transformation again, we could go back to the expression and you'll see we have the EEG edition listed now as a preset on our expression generator. We can use our new expression preset as a measurement by going up to our measurement box, going down to expression, and then choosing from a preset, so I'll choose our new one, EEG Edition, and click on OK. And now, when I select an area of our graph, it's giving me the result of the calculation. So, as you recall, our expression was channel 1 plus channel 40, and the result for this highlighted selection of the waveform 
is 0 0.0392. We can repeat that for different areas in the graph. For example, this one is 0 0.1324. One more place that we can use our expression preset is as an online calculation channel. To do this, we go to the MP150 menu, select Setup Channels, and in the Calculation tab, we can turn on a calculation channel, go here to Expression, select Setup, and we can go here to our preset and select EEG Edition and click on OK. And now, if we were to start recording new data, we would have a third channel shown on our display that would be the sum of this channel plus this channel in real time. Another type of preset that is new in Acknowledge version 4.3 is the measurement box preset. This allows you to set how many measurements you have going from left to right across your window and how many rows you're going to have going up and down. If you click on the drop down menu, you'll see some presets that I've already created, such as a single row of five, dual row of five, dual row of three, and single row of three. You can also tailor them to your signal of interest, such as a preset for blood pressure measurement, a preset for ECG measurement. To create your own measurement preset, you can go up into the Preferences menu, and under the Measurements option, you can select your number of rows and your number of columns, and then click on OK. And you'll see here's my new configuration. I can then scroll down and save this as a new preset, and I can call this three rows by five and click on OK. And we'll now see if I go back to that drop down menu, the new preset of three rows of five is shown on the list. You can learn more about additional Acknowledge 4.3 user interface enhancements or watch additional software tutorials on the Biopack website. Or you can contact us at info at biopack.com or 805-685-0066 for more information.